Blog Talk Radio. Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Kat Johnson, and you're listening to All Romance Ebooks, What's Hot in Romance, the Blog Talk Radio show that brings you the hottest names in the romance industry every Monday night. Tonight, we're lucky to have with us two authors. Uh, the first one will be Carson Tate, and then later on in the hour, we'll have Kate Davis. And I have Carson with me right now. Hi, Carson. Hi, Kat. Well, welcome, and thank you for visiting us. Happy to be here. Um, I wanted to first say that you are probably the first author, I think you are the first author, who specializes not only in the GBLT market, but also in the lesbian fiction market. Well, it's great to be a first. <laughs> <laughs> and I have so many questions for you. Um, first of all, who do you think, I? we've had a lot of male-male authors on, and I find that the male-male readership is not who you would first expect it to be. It's usually straight, married, middle-aged women. I've heard that. And, which always baffled me, but they are loyal, they are rabid fans, they, are, they, they can't get enough of it. I mean, the, the, the things release and they're on the top ten you know, the day that these new male male books release, <laughs> and their followers are, are just, like, dedicated. Who do you think your readership is? Um. I like to think that my readership is a broad base, but I know that it's probably primarily um, other lesbians. Mm-hmm. I, Which I know that makes sense. That it totally makes sense to me because you. I guess you. It would be like me watching a movie, like a war movie. When I'm not into war movies, I'm into chick flicks. So I would see how a lesbian would not want to read a book necessarily that had a male-female relationship if what they were interested in was a female-female relationship. Well, I, I think that's true. I think our first choice is probably going to be female-to-female um, fiction because it's now more readily available to us than it used to be. But mm-hmm. we, I mean, I, we, I say we, we lesbians. <laughs> um, <laughs> As a group, I think we read whatever we could read, and those of us who liked romance, we didn't have as many choices in the past, and now mm-hmm. we have a ton of choices in our genre, and it's just very exciting to be part of the industry right now. Well, I mean, that's true. There's a ton of male-male in the market. I don't see that much female-female, but I, I guess it's a growing market. You have a few coming out, and I think... I've never heard of Bold Strokes Books, which is your publisher, but I'm assuming that they specialize in this. They do. Um, Bold Strokes Books produces um, books in all all facets of the GLBT market, and and they're actually quite large. Um, I'll be in Palm Springs starting tomorrow for a lesbian book festival, um, and you, as you can imagine, if we're having a festival, it has to, you know, draw quite a crowd. Definitely. Um, but they'll be. I believe there's at least 18 authors in attendance, and that's just a fraction of the authors with bold strokes. And so there's a lot of a lot of books out there. It's just not as widely known outside of our community, I think. Yeah, I guess that's true because just like we, there's a Yahoo group for everything going, you guys probably have your own little circles. Absolutely. That support these books, like the, the male love man man love romance whatever i'm sure you guys have your own um there are quite a few um listservs and facebook pages and myspace pages Mm -hmm. and um all that great viral marketing out there yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) i did want to mention your um your upcoming event it's a large contingent of bold strokes books authors and it's your third annual Lesbian Book Festival in Palm Springs. Wow, just three that's, years in a row. That's correct. Um, Bold Strokes, along with other authors, all attend, uh, other publishing companies all attend the Women's Week in Provincetown in the fall. And this is a spring event that's just for Bold Strokes authors to connect with readers. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and that's March 5th through the 8th at uh, the Casitas La Quita Resort. In sunny yeah. Palm Springs. <laughs> Palm Springs. What I was intrigued by is it looks like you guys kind of take over the town. You have an event happening at a different resort, I believe the Queen of Hearts Resort. True, and there will be events at the public library, mm-hmm. other local venues. So, yeah, we will be taking over the town. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a <laughs> wild weekend. <laughs> Definitely. 
feel free to leave snowy New York and come out and play. <laughs> I wish I could. Uh, when I was reading over the names of some of the um, conference agenda titles, <laughs> first of all, the, the topic seemed like anything that would be at any romance writers convention. True. But there were a couple of differentiating points that I did want to bring up. I was reading the Got Uniform, which is about lesbian heroes in uniform. And you guys specifically used the word hero, where I would have intuitively used the word heroine. Heroine. Well, that's a, I'm, I think we kind of interchange. Um, I don't think we feel I, I don't I don't know that there's such a need to I, identify with feminine pronouns in oh. the lesbian um, community, which is probably surprising to a lot of people. But um, yeah, I think hero is just as applicable to us as heroine as far as defining ourselves, and we don't always define ourselves with strict gender boundaries. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it's how the word actor has come to be used for both male and female, where in the, you exactly. know, back in the 30s it would have been actress. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So some of the other conference agenda titles were um, Authors Confess, Has an Author Ever Put You in a Book? <laughs> do, you, do you find this happens a lot? <laughs> I'm actually on that panel. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Um, my uh, first release, truelesbianlove.com, is definitely not solidly based in real life. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to do with online dating, and I mm -hmm. met my spouse online. And so, uh, like most of us who write from experience, I used a little bit of my experience to color the novel. Yeah, there's always one little grain of truth in there somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> and I, I might reveal that in Palm Springs. <laughs> Uh, then there was another interesting topic, the great debate, do lesbians want more sex or less sex in the books, happy endings, what kind of heroes, and do all the cops have to be butch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a really interesting panel. Um, yeah. I, I know just talking to people, I always get various opinions about, I've had people walk up to me and say, there's not enough sex in your book, or, um, you know, it's, part, portions are too graphic, it just... Everybody has different taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's something that spans the whole romance and writing industry. Oh, I'm you can't, sure. You can't make everybody happy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. And then one of the events was a lecture on how to pick up women, which you definitely don't find in many <laughs> romance yeah. writers. And I'm on that panel, too. <laughs> you are. You, you cross all boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> like to be um, varied. Oh, well, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you get a good turnout. Yeah, I think we will. Um, it, it, they've had a good turnout in the past, and there's no reason to believe it won't be, especially with all the bad weather on the coast. Maybe a lot of people will head out. Yeah, definitely. Well, you did mention briefly your truelesbianlove.com. I read on your website that that was your first novel. It was. So you, what was your road to publication? You you write this the book of your heart, and then you you sit there with it and say, now what the hell do I do with it? <laughs> and yeah. what, what did what did you do with it? Um, it was actually a pretty easy decision to me, um, deciding what I wanted to do with it. I um, attended a conference, um, a, a lesbian literature conference that um, just kind of kind of like a romance writers association conference, but it was you know all. Le um, focused on lesbian genre fiction. Mm -hmm. um, and I was in the middle of writing this romance. I attended a bunch of panels, got to see a lot of the, the major publishers in the genre, and um, it was just an easy choice for me. After hearing the editors and the publisher from Bold Strokes speak, um, then I knew exactly where I wanted to submit my first book. And I was just lucky enough that they thought it was a good match. And that's so important. That's the hardest part to getting published is finding the the good match. Exactly. But I, you know, research research is big big part of that, and just finding people who I mean, you know, look at book covers. Who does the best covers? Who does puts together the best product in mm -hmm. terms of the whole package? And um, but hands down, Bold Strokes is it. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, let me read the, the blurb so people know what we're talking about, and okay. then I understand you have an excerpt for us, so you can read the excerpt. Sure. Um, TrueLesbian.com is available.